You know what your problem is? I'm angry that I have to be here to testify about the weaponization of the FBI and DOJ. Your problem is you think this is about justice, and it's not about justice. It's about mitigating damage. There was a deep rot within the FBI. They said that the FBI suspended me in order to financially devastate us and leave us stranded in a new city without any support. What ultimately kind of was the final straw for me was I got poisoned twice. The Justice Department and the FBI, they don't get promoted by not charging you. They don't get promoted by not ruining your life. Look everyone, we're getting more January 6th subjects. At this point, if the worst of the worst haven't been arrested, like, what are you doing? With FBI agents being taken off child sex trafficking cases to swat people's houses. I think we all know, James Comey, that you're a great storyteller because you made up the entire story about Crossfire Hurricane. As far as the allegations of, you know, CIA hacking into, you know, Senate computers, nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, we wouldn't do that. They were held hands on destroying me. It didn't take very long, maybe four months before the FBI ended up raiding my home and began a couple of years worth of retaliatory harassment. The civil uh, FBI whistleblowers that call themselves the suspendables. It was as, as if my name was toxic waste. A lot of them are having trouble making ends meet and taking care of their families. And that's one reason, of course, why the FBI and the Department of Justice are punishing them. To set an example, I would have to fight communist-like totalitarian tactics, particularly working for the Central Intelligence Agency, where I'm supposed to defend and protect the Constitution of the United States. Instead, I was supposed to defend and protect the bureaucracy first and foremost. If any of you are thinking of blowing the whistles, look at these boys, they can't feed their families anymore. So think twice and you better fall in line.